Hi guys, in this video we will take a dive in statistics using Python and Pandas. So in this video I will show you how you can calculate measure of central tendencies like mean, median and mod. And then we will also calculate variance, standard deviation, quartile ranges and also coefficient of variation. So let's get started. So first of all I am importing Pandas as PD, then I am importing statistics and then Seabone as SNS. Then I am loading the dataset tips from the SNS package. So you do not have to explicitly download this data set. It is built in this package. So the type of this DF variable is pandas data frame. I will run this cell. So this is how the data set looks. So mainly we are concerned with this total bill column. I will tell you the shape. So this has 244 rows and 7 columns. So here I am using the total bill column. So the type of this total bill data variable is panda series. I will execute this cell. Now I will begin by finding the mean of this column. So mean is basically the average. So the mean is calculated by adding all the data points and dividing it by the number of data points. After that I will calculate the median. So this is the median. So the median is calculated by sorting so the median is calculated by sorting all the data points and then finding the middle data point. After that I will find the mod. So the mod is this value. So mod is the most frequently occurring value in the data set. After that I will find variance. So this is variance. So this is the formula of variance. It is calculated by subtracting the average from each data point and then squaring the whole term and doing the summation for all the data points. After that dividing whole by the number of data point minus 1. So basically it tells the deviation of a data point of a random variable from the mean. So moving on to the standard deviation. So basically it is the square root of variance. I will run this. After that we will find the quartile range. I will run this. So here you can see the quartile range 25%, 50%, 75%. So what does this 25% means? It means that the 25% of values in the data set are below this value or we can say this data point. And 50% of the data points are below this data point. So this 50% is actually the median also. We can confirm this by checking the median value. So which is 17.795 which is also present here. So this is how you find the quartile ranges. This 25% is also called the first quartile and this 50% is called second quartile and the 75% is also called the third quartile. So now I will find the coefficient of variation. It is calculated by dividing the standard deviation with the mean of the data set and then you can multiply it by 100 to get the percentage. So if your coefficient of variation is low that is 10% or 20% that means your data is less dispersed and it is concentrated around the mean. I will run this cell. So this is the percent 44.99 almost 45%. So this is it guys I hope you like the video on statistics using python. Please like share and subscribe and I will meet you in the next video.